Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created activity entity with DTO and repository in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will create post activity API call. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create activity service. And to do this, we will right click on our fitness tracker server package and we will choose new package and we will name this package as services and after this we will right click on this services package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as activity and in this activity package we need to create activity service and activity service implementation so we will right click on this and we will choose a new java class and we will name this class as activity service and after this from the tabs we will choose interface and after this we will right click again on this activity package and we will choose a new java class and we will name this class as activity service implementation and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate service annotation and then we will add the annotation of required aux constructor from lombok and after this here we will write implements statement and we will mention activity service and after this we need to inject activity repository in this activity service implementation so we will write private final and after this we will mention activity repository and we will import it from fitness tracker server dot repository package and after this we will name this as activity repository and now we need to create a method in this activity service implementation and this method will return activity dto and we will name this method as post activity and in the params of this method we will accept activity dto and we will name this as dto and in the body of this method we need to get the data from the dto and we need to create an activity and to do this first of all we will create an object of activity entity and we will name this as activity and we will initialize this with new activity and after this we need to set the data and first of all we need to set the date of the activity and to do this we will write activity and after this we will call set date method and in this we will use dto and we will call get date and after the date we need to set the steps so we will write activity dot set steps method and in this we will pass dto dot get steps and after the steps we need to set the distance covered so we will write activity dot set distance and in this we will pass dto dot get distance and after the distance we need to set the calories burned so we will write activity and we will call set calories burned method and in this we will pass dto dot get calories burned and after this we need to save this activity and to do this we will write return statement and we will use activity repository and we will call save method and in this we will pass activity and this save method will return a new activity and we need to convert this activity to the dto and to do this we will call a method get activity dto and with this our post activity method is completed in activity service implementation now let's copy this and let's open activity service and let's mention this here and after this we need to create this get activity method in activity entity so we will open activity and in this class we will start writing a new method and this method will return activity dto and we will name this method as get activity dto and in the body of this method we will create activity dto and we will name this as activity dto and we will initialize this with new activity dto and after this we need to set the data in this activity dto and first of all we need to set the id and to do this we will write activity dto dot set id and in this we will pass the id and after the id we will set the date and after the date we will set distance covered and after the distance we will set steps and at the end we will set calories burned and after this we will write return statement and we will return this activity dto from here and with this our get activity dto method is completed and now we need to create an endpoint to call this post activity method and to do this we will right click on our main package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as controller and after this we will right click on this controller package and we will choose a new java class 
and we will name this class as activity controller and after this we will annotate this controller with at the rate rest controller annotation and after this test controller annotation we will add the annotation of request mapping and for the url we will set slash api and after this request mapping annotation we will add the annotation of required aux constructor from lombok and at the end we will add the annotation of cross origin and for the path we will pass it as static and after this in this activity controller we need to inject activity service and to do this we will write private final and after this we will mention activity service and we will import it from services dot activity and we will name this as activity service and after this we will start writing a new method and this method will return response entity and we will import it from spring framework dot http and after this we will name this method as post activity and in the params of this method we will mention at the rate request body annotation and after this we will mention activity dto and we will name this as dto and in the body of this method we will create an object of activity dto and we will name this as create activity and after this we will use activity service and we will call post activity method and in the params of this method we will pass dto and after this we need to check this created activity so we will write if condition and in this we will mention create activity and we will compare this with null and if it is not null then we will write return statement and we will use response entity and after this to set the status we will call dot status method and in this we will return http status dot created and after this to set the body we will call body method and in this we will pass create activity and after this we will write else block as well and in this we will return response entity and to set the status we will call status method and in this we will return http status dot internal server error and after this we will call body method and in this we will pass the message as something went wrong and at the end we will annotate this method with at the rate post mapping annotation and for the url we will set it as slash activity and with this our post activity api call is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for today's video in the next video we will test this api and we will create get activities api as well